welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do a quick little Thanksgiving prep, Thanksgiving checklist, um, just to get you guys going. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna go through my list and then um, we'll do some groceries, get what we need. And then um, tomorrow I'm going to run through all of, oh my God, it's so hot in here all of make sure i have like enough serving dishes um serving utensils things like that and make sure we've got everything so that we can make hosting thanksgiving just so seamless so enjoyable and just really fun for everybody so i'm gonna kind of talk you through what i usually get um what i do and we'll go from there so i've got my cute little notebook home goods for six dollars can't go wrong um, and I'm going to just kind of break it down. Um, so we obviously need a turkey. We are gonna have mashed potatoes. So I make my mashed potatoes homemade every year. Um, they're just so much better and they're really easy. You just cut them up, boil, I do peel mine because I don't like peeling in my potatoes. If you don't care for peeling in your potatoes, like you don't care if there is peeling in your potatoes, you definitely don't have to peel them. Um, they will be just as good. And I just put some milk, um, a ton of butter. I do very little milk, a ton of butter and some salt. I keep it very simple, but I do not whip. I hand mash because I do not like them creamy. I like more of a lumpy potato. So we'll get probably a five pound bag of potatoes, five pound bag of potatoes. So for the turkey, I've always heard like a pound per person. I don't know where I heard that, but I've heard that and I've stuck to it. So we are having between seven and nine people. So a 10 pound turkey would be ideal. Um, we probably will have a hard time finding that because I know finding smaller turkeys is a lot harder. Um, so we're going to go and attempt to do that. And then I have butter at home. So for seasonings for my turkey, I use butter, um, Italian seasoning, salt, a little bit of pepper, um, and then onion powder and, oh, I forgot my, I need stuff for the mirepaw. I cook my turkey. Oh yeah. So I cook my turkey in um with onions celery and a bag of carrots i have carrots here so i don't need to buy more what the heck okay i don't need to buy more carrots but i will need celery did you say onion so that's for that and then um i like melt i kind of melt the butter i soften it really and then i put it in between the skin of the turkey and like the turkey meat. So I'll like separate the skin from the bird, you know, and you know, I don't wanna get too graphic in case that weirds people out. That's what I do. Um, and then I baste it every few hours. <clears throat> um, and then I always make green beans. It's like a very easy side dish to make. I literally just saute them with butter and garlic and salt. Super, super simple, crowd favorite. Um, and then I'm going to attempt to make homemade rolls. I don't really know, especially with my wrists right now. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to. So we're going to not put rolls on here and we can always run out last minute and grab some. Um, and then I'm going to make my apple crisp in, um, the crock pot. So if you guys missed that video, I will link it down below to go see the full recipe for it because it's literally so easy. Um, so we'll need some apples. That's the only ingredient I think I will need. I have everything else still from when I made it last week. Um, I have gravy packets already, and then I usually mix it with like, um, the juices from the turkey once it's cooked. And then what else are we going to need? Oh, we also will need like a little, we don't need it, but I'm going to have a little cheese and crackers platter to pick at. I kind of want to do a salad, but I know no one will eat it. So I probably will not do a salad. Um, my friend Chelsea is coming. She is making, I have something in my eye, you guys. I'm so sorry. She is making, um, green bean casserole and like this cranberry relish thing. But Reed's mom really loves 
cranberry and a can. And then I make a meat stuffing. Um, and it's just mild sausage and ground beef and these things. It's really, really simple and it's so good. I don't super love the bread stuffing, like the stovetop, um, but I might still make it for people because I'm a people pleaser. So I haven't decided on that yet. Maybe we don't need the celery and onion for the turkey. I don't know. I'll decide that later on. Um, maybe I want to try a different recipe for the turkey, but so that's it. It's super simple. Oh, we need mac and cheese. We get the Bob Evans mac and cheese. It's really, again, simple, easy. Um, we love, love, love it. And it's just really good with the meat stuffing, to be honest. So we've got our list. Um, I will need a serving. I need a turkey pan and then turkey serving dish, which I have. I will need a dish for the rolls, which I have. Um, we'll need something for the green beans, mac and cheese, that can go in a regular bowl. Um, and then mashed potatoes. And a plate for the cranberry. Um, meat stuffing. And the apple crisp is going to be right in the crock pot. So I don't need a dish for that because we'll just take it out of there. And then I'm just going to get a pre-made crackers and cheese platter. So I won't need a dish for that. I'm just going to leave it in what it comes in. So... Let's do some groceries, get what we need to get, um, and reconvene. I'll show you a little grocery haul. All right, you guys, here is our little Thanksgiving grocery haul. We have ground beef and ground sausage for the meat stuffing, mac and cheese, two bags of apples so I can make a big ol' helping of the apple crisp, a turkey. Um, I think we ended up getting 12 pounds. Yeah, 12 pound turkey. And then canned crayons, some Ready Whip for the apple crisp. I have ice cream in my freezer already. And then a big old thing of green beans, super excited. And a big old five pound bag of potatoes. And start of the show, the salami and pepperoni tray. So like I said, I will reconvene this video tomorrow. It is Sunday at the moment. Um, you will see this video tomorrow. You'll see this Monday um, later in the evening. And then, um, but tomorrow before I upload and edit, I am going to show you guys what dishes I use for what. You know what I mean? Um, and make sure I have enough. So I've got a few. I'm going to scrummage through my cabinets real quick um, off camera and just see where I'm at so that if I need anything, I can go grab it tomorrow or tonight. It's 8.15, so I don't really have a ton of time. I have a meeting um, in 45 minutes for Young Living, but we'll, uh, we'll see. And I'm also filming a laundry video right now as well. So we're going to go get all the things done, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow to assess the situation. All right, you guys, we are back to assess our plating situation to make sure we have everything we need. And wouldn't you know it, we don't. So we have this cutie little plate from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm gonna put the jelly canned cranberries stuff. Um, Reed's mom like loves those, so we're gonna do that there. I'm gonna make some rolls and we'll put them in here with like a nice little towel. I'm gonna put the meat stuffing in this little bowl. It's so stinking cute. And I got it at like a, where did I get this? At like a, not a rummage sale, but a, when I went to that house. Uh, oh, oh, an estate sale. Yes, thank you. It was an estate sale, so that's exciting. And I actually got this there too. I'm gonna put the green beans in here after we cook those. 
And then mashed potatoes are gonna go in this honking thing. It's so beautiful, I'm obsessed with it. It's plastic, so it's perfect. And then our turkey, once we cut it, is gonna go in this little guy, he's so cute. And then we've also got two things of silverware. These are from Hobby Lobby. And then Home Goods already had all of their fall plates all discounted um, a few weeks ago. So I went ahead and picked some up. So we've got little ones for some dessert, got napkins, and then we've got plates. All right, and then we've got our electric carving knife. Um, Reed's mom got us this a few weeks ago in preparation for Thanksgiving. And then I've got a new roasting pan. I'm super excited. Look how pretty it is. Don't mind the laundry. We're also doing laundry now. Um, but it's so pretty. And this, or this part, sorry, is removable here. Um, so super excited about that. So the only other thing that I am going to run out and grab probably tonight is going to be a gravy boat because I swore I had one and I quite literally don't know where it is. Um, I've literally turned like the house upside down for it. So it's fine. We'll go grab that and hopefully Home Goods still has some because they had a bunch a few weeks ago and I almost bought one. I was like, no, I have one. I don't need it. And I, in fact, do need one. So that's the only thing we're missing. The only other dish I didn't mention is um, something for the mac and cheese because I'm just gonna put it in a regular bowl that we have um, because it's like not a super large amount. So that is everything that we've got going on. Um, that's our little Thanksgiving prep checklist. Um, drinks are being brought by people so we are not responsible for drinks um and that is it so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little checklist to help you kind of gather your thoughts um i know it helped me probably more than it's gonna help you guys but i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave and give this video a big old thumbs up share it with your friends family everybody you know and i will see you guys in the next video bye